This device is called Faraday cage. It consists of two wire mesh sections installed on an isolating stand. The inner mesh is used for measuring an electric charge and the outer one screens the inner mesh from the influence of extraneous electric fields. To activate the outer mesh we have to ground it. We'll use an electrometer to measure the charges. So we connect one of its leadouts to the outer mesh and the other one to the inner mesh and adjust the electrometer for zero. We rub a wooden ruler on a tissue and hold it up to the outer mesh. The electrometer readings have not changed. Now we put the ruler into the cage. The electrometer registers the presence of a positive charge. When we remove the ruler, the readings go zero again. Now we'll carry out the same experiment using a plexiglass ruler. The electrometer shows the presence of a negative charge. If we place the wooden ruler inside the mesh as well, the readings drop to almost zero. The ruler's charges neutralize each other almost completely. When we put a positive charge inside a metal cage, negatively charged electrons get attracted to it and move to the inner surface. The cage's total charge, though, still equals zero, so the outer surface of the cage turns out to be positively charged. Now, to move a unit positive test charge from ground to the mesh, we'll have to do some work. This work is proportional to the value of the charge put in the cage. It is this work that is measured by the electrometer. In this experiment, we're going to obtain a charge in a different way. We connect a sphere made of metal to a source of electrostatic stress and it has a positive electric charge now. If we touch the sphere with a metal plate, a part of this charge will move onto it. When we put the plate inside the cage, the electrometer registers that the plate carries a positive charge. Now we touch the wall of the inner mesh with the plate and remove it from the cage. The electrometer's readings have not changed. Let's figure out what has happened. When we touch the cage wall with a metal plate, negative charges move onto the plate and it becomes electrically neutral. Now the cage itself turns out to be positively charged. So to move the test charge from ground to the cage, we have to do the same work. That's why the electrometer's readings do not change. Since the charge in our experiment gets fully moved from the plate to the mesh, we can increase the charge of the mesh in equal portions by repeating this action. Note that the electrometer readings increase in equal steps as well. The experiment that we have shown you was first carried out by a famous English physicist Michael Faraday when he was lecturing at the Royal Institution of Great Britain. Although, instead of a mesh cage, he used a small metal pail for cooling down champagne, an ice pail. So, the English used the word ice pail, not cage, when referring to it.